Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Well, I was supposed to go to work today and I was all ready to go, got my lunch made and had about 30 minutes before I left and got a phone call and they told me my machine wasn't working today, they're having technical difficulties and I could take the day off. So I kind of had to regroup and rethink what I was going to do. So I decided to come out here and go ahead and fill this uh, crater in that engine block where that head bolt came from with JB Weld and uh, let that start curing. I don't have the drill and the tap plus it takes 24 hours to set anyway but that way I'll be able to do that this weekend when I do get another day off and I got my new head bolts in the mail today so and they're a lot better looking than the old ones let me show you those Just for comparison's sake, here's one of the ones I pulled out of there. This is one of the ones that didn't break. And these are my new ones. And just you can tell the difference. It's just like, wow. These things are decrepit. Look at the difference there. So definitely I'm going to use these new ones. But anyway, they're an 8 millimeter with a 20 pitch thread. And no, I don't have that size tap, and I don't know what size drill exactly. So I'm going to have to research that and obtain those things so I can get that right. But either way, I still got to fill this hole with JB Weld. So that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, well, let's do it. All right. So I got my JB Weld, and you know how that works. It's 50 50, it's an epoxy. Poke a little hole in that. It'll squeeze out enough that you think it'll fill half of whatever you're going to be doing. And that looks like a little bit more of, than half of the size of the hole I've got. So I should have a little left over. Poke a hole. And it's got a little pointer in there. You just poke the little foil seal there, make a hole. Make another glob on it with the same approximate amount. Looks pretty close to me. And I don't have any popsicle sticks, which would be ideal. I bet I probably do somewhere, but I don't know where they are. So I took an old piece of pine that I've got in there and just took my razor knife and sliced me off a piece. And just stir it up until it all becomes uniform. So basically that's the general idea. I'm going to move the camera over so we can get an eye on that hole and let you watch me do that. Okay, so I got that stirred up where I'm happy. I'm just going to start poking it down in the hole. Try to get all the air bubbles out. I did take a tap. I didn't drill the hole out to where it's perfectly symmetrical, but I took a tap that would rub on the edges a little bit and stuck it down in there and ran it around a few times and made some grooves so that in fact this JB weld will have something to hang on to when it hardens. Okay, that looks like it's saying no more, no more. So I made way too much. I got a toothpick here. And you just gotta kinda poke around in there. And yep, sure enough, there was an air bubble in there. And that opened up room for more. Quite a bit more. And this stuff hardens. It has a strength rating at like 3,500 pounds per square inch really strong I couldn't think of any other way to do this key the coils eh, yeah they're good this I just didn't want to go that route I would have to drill again and tap again then screw it in and 
lucky if I can find the right ones. And of course, I'm going to have to clean that off of that surface where the gasket goes when I get done here. I'm not going to fill that up to the brim just because. Don't think I need to. I can feel a little bit of a rough edge around there. After this cures and everything, I'll be taking a uh, real fine file that and get that groove off and make sure that surface is good and straight before I try to reseat that new cylinder on there. But that's going to do. That's all there is to that. Just let that sit there and harden. All right. I don't see a thing wrong with that. All right. Well, that's that. Now I got to figure out what else I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to turn this off here for now and figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of my evening. I think I might trim some bushes or something. All right, all right. This weekend when I get it all together, I'll show you some more stuff. I'm just gonna do a quick one for now. That's how you apply JB weld. And then drilling it, tapping it, getting it straight and everything's gonna be a chore. But uh, it's all good. We're getting there. All right, so you be good and I'll see you later. All right, thanks for watching.